Please enter your password. B R Y C E. Told me, son, you could be anything. Long as you spread your wings, I know one day you'll be great. Just wait, soon you'll aim up at the sky and I'll watch it float away. But now that I am older, I'll admit that I am over. All the stress and shit that comes from older life upon your shoulders. It's a chore, I'm sick of being bored. I'm sick of always stressing over shit I could ignore. I guess it's just my own immaturity burning through me internally. Take imagination and making it a reality. So pause, yo, fuck it, I'll be right back. Pay a visit to the past, tell them all to kiss my ass for a second. I don't want to worry about nothing for a while. I just want to play around, live it like a child. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial at uh, Zikta. And uh, we're pretty late right now, but I'm sure I'll find them there. And uh, we'll do some interviews with some people. I didn't check them out. I think it's the buses that made us be late. But as you know, Uncle Drake is with us. Told me, son, you could be anything. Long as you spread your wings, I know one day you'll be great. Just wait, soon you'll aim up at the sky. And I'll... Guys, so we're at the entrance right now, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's people here. Okay. Right. So, if you've never been to Zikta College, this is Zikta College. This is ICT College, provided by ICT, training to all. Yeah. So if you want to learn computer programming, you want to do data science, computer engineering, this part of this. But now that I am older, I'll admit that I am over All the stress and shit that comes from older life upon your shoulders It's a chore, I'm sick of being bored Alright, sir right. Okay, it's coming at 16 hours, so I think you can just pass around, talk with some people here And uh, we see what's happening So I think we should start from that side And this is really dope, like I've in the bus yeah, that's Victor Gold's side. So let's get this side and take off. Okay, guys, now we're here. I think these are the dorm rooms that uh, we have here at Victor College. And uh, I think we'll let's, let's go forward and then we check some stuff. If there's some people we can interview, I have a couple of questions here. These are the questions that I'm having. Oh, my phone is 40, 49%. So, Let's get it off. Comes a mode of life upon your shoulders. It's a chore. I'm sick of being bored. I'm sick of always stressing over shit I could ignore. Alright, what's up guys? We're here with another person and my brother here is going to give us a really good welcoming about how the university is and give us some information. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, my name is Pindukani Mwandia. I'm a second year student uh, here at Zambia ICT College pursuing a bachelor's degree in Forensic uh, in cyber security, pardon me. Okay, for, uh, cy cyber security. Yes, but I mentioned forensics because it's part of our courses. So oh, the issue yeah. of for computer forensic, in short, just uh, tells us more about how we can investigate the computer's hardware and software systems in order to find information that we want. Okay, yes. this so can be damaged laptops, any kind of laptops, but the process of actually digging in for the right data that you want is called computer forensics. So like those things we see in the movies where by those hackers and then it's maybe they destroy the laptops and then you people come in and then you do all that process, yeah. right? Okay. It's a very unique part and very interesting part. Wow, I would love to learn that. Yes. Okay. So here we have got a uh, few questions that we want to ask you. Sure. Yeah. So like of course you have told us you're doing a course uh, yes, cyber, cyber security. security. Yes. Oh, yeah. Under the general umbrella, umbrella of I IT, IT. IT. information technology. Right. Okay guys, I think we're moving the location uh, there, it was too noisy and all that. So we're going to uh, go down there where we can do the interviews. 
Hit the like button and uh, tell me what you want me to do next in my next tutorial or which university you want me to visit here in Zambia and we'll get to it. Okay guys, we're back here. As I said, that day it was a little bit noisy and all that. So we're back with uh, our Finn. brother right here. Yes. Yeah. So you say C++ is your... Yes, it's my favorite uh, programming language. Okay. Why? Uh, because it's, it's my first language in programming. Okay. Uh, yeah, because uh, I come from a background where I didn't know much about computers until the first day I stepped into a cybersecurity class. Oh so, my god, okay. Yeah. So when was that? Uh, last year, January. Okay. So have you been like into computers since you were young or just developed this uh, interest after, you know, like, listen, maybe at the older age and all that? Uh, actually, I got my interest when I was in the day. Okay. Yes, that's... So you used to take computer classes? No, I never did any computer classes. You used to have a computer at home? Yes. Okay, I see. When did you become interested in this computer stuff and all that? Uh, about a year before, that's 2018 and 2019. Yeah, I, I got to see the number of cases, like people were hacked. Um, I used to hack my mom. <laughs> It was shutting down company uh, data okay, and uh, yeah, they were unable to access that data. So all those kind of situations okay. motivated me to, to, to join uh, a force which where I can help out with, with protecting such things. Okay, so have you had any cases like person being hacked or yourself, mm -hmm. you have been hacked or any situation like that? No, I, I always come up with strong passwords so no one can. <laughs> I think it's quite hard for someone to hack me. Best language that you love, like let's maybe that you program with and all that. Uh, I know, but I know a little bit of HTML. Okay. Oh yeah, HTML. Yeah, that's a that's basic language. Like basic. Oh yeah, that's yeah. most yeah. basic language. Yeah. Some people like HTML yeah. is not the programming language; it's yeah. just a markup. Yeah, but yeah. And then uh, C plus plus is the basic language that we're taught here at Zambia ICT. Because when we start, because once someone learns C plus plus, it's it's even easier for them to to adapt to other languages. Wow, that's very inspiring. Like just seeing like well, a few people, you know, like would see a problem and then they were like, "Man, I need to solve this problem." Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's really it's a big step, you know. Thanks. Yeah. Man. So like, do you have like a background since you were young? Like maybe you were interested in computers or just developed yeah. it after? After no, no. Uh, when I was young, the the interest was there, although it was just a bit minimal, and it was in ara other areas of the computer, like uh, basically uh, graphics, music. Uh, typing because I also love writing okay. yeah but uh, yeah throughout my childhood it was just a minimal interest but from day one after coming here of course we are at an inspirational place this is yeah. ice too which is wow. myself like yeah. I've been inspired like I've been walking around <laughs> yeah. here and it's really yeah. calm and all that yeah it's the lab is specialized for cyber security this one. so um, coming back to the question list yeah um, which one do you prefer Mac or PC uh, PC. PC. I, yeah. Um, I I love Mac and Macintosh and everything about yeah. about the designs, but I think I've been more exposed to, to general PCs from a young from a young age. Okay. So I believe I'm still a big fan of just a general PC. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if like I would offer you a Mac right now for my brother, like man, I'll grab it <laughs> with both hands. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's yeah. great. Which compiler do you use like to program? Yeah, like as myself, program. I yeah. love all these other compilers, but yeah. which one do you think is the best? It's the best. Uh, I'll say Visual Studio is one of them okay. uh, for beginners. Okay. Then uh, I love Dev as well. Okay. It's got a, a good good interface. And then uh, Code Blocks is also wonderful. And then uh, for people that just want to to be more creative, you can use say a uh, text editor like Sublime Text, okay. and then install your own. Uh, uh, compiler. All right. Uh, one thing I love about supplying text is you can you can love the way the text is coming text out and the layout and, layouts, and the way they put the color in the color and all those stuff yeah. the background. Yeah. Very all right. So we're actually thinking of having another interview with you. Yeah. I don't know if that would be possible. Yeah. Very much fine. At least uh, I'll be more prepared and I'm sure we can explore this place a bit better. Okay, guys. As you have heard, we'll have another interview with my brother right here, yeah. Mr. Pindukani. Mr. Pindukani. And I'm also inspired, must say, by you, brother. Okay. Uh, for for self teaching is a very great great task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that, guys? <laughs> yeah. Self teaching. <laughs> yeah. So.